I just don't really understand why Patrick Baldwin Jr. doesn't get a chance to receive more minutes on the Warriors. I just watch him every time and I'm like, oh my goodness, his offensive skill set is already there. He can be he can be helpful offensively and he's 6'10. And if you look at the Warriors, they're one of the worst defensive teams in the league, 20th ranked defense. So a 6'10 player, a young guy who's gonna hustle. I don't think he's going to be that much of a liability. Like, if you're giving Jermichael Green and Anthony Lamb, you know, 15-plus minutes a night, I, I just, like, what, what is what is the difference? Like, can we can we just be real? And the film will back up what I'm saying. Now, these are garbage time minutes, so you, you take it with a grain of salt. However, look at this. 6'10", look at that form. That form is beautiful, and he's shooting that over anyone and he's confident in his shot he's unconscious he doesn't care he doesn't care that he's 20 years old he's confident he's releasing and firing if he has space i like this play right here because we see some glimpses of a quick first step see you later mo bamba look at that quick first step he catches see you later i'm gone reverse laying like i said if you give him too much space he's gonna fire his man is worried about anthony lamb on the roll kaminga is eventually gonna find him and that's just too much space. He's going to catch it and fire confidently every single time. Oh, man. This dude's form is just too nice. It's too nice. Give him some run. And with Jordan Poole, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, he's going to get open looks because the defense is going to be like, oh, he's not in the scouting report. But this dude, Jordan Poole, he's all over the scouting report. I'm more worried about stopping his drive because overhelping in the NBA, they loved overhelping the NBA. And the overhelp here results in a wide open three. A low-key high IQ play from Patrick Baldwin Jr. right here. 20 years old. He's cutting. He's cutting. He's not just staying on the three-point line. His defender's back is turned. He's going to cut to the rim, and he's going to make himself available. He gets blocked originally, but he stays with it and eventually gets to lay in. You know, he's probably going to make a few mistakes here and there on the defensive end of the floor, but he is 6'10", so he can help on the boards. This is a highly contested rebound, and guess who comes up with it? Patrick Baldwin Jr. I don't know, man. I understand he's only 20 years old, so he's probably a little behind in terms of what the Warriors like and their players. They like players who read and react very quickly and understand the system. He's probably a little bit behind in terms of that offensively and defensively, but I see a elite offensive skill set at six foot ten, and the Warriors could use some size, and they can also use a confident shooter along with Jordan Poole, along with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. And like I said, their defense, statistically speaking, is already trash. You know, it's bottom half of the league. So I say take the training wheels off and give this dude some real run. I mean, Jamichael Green, Anthony Lamb, they're they're good, smart, high, high IQ players. But I think you can get a little more with Patrick Baldwin Jr. It might be a little more risky, but let's be real. The Warriors are a 500 team right now. They're not anything special. So it's not going to kill you to give Patrick Baldwin Jr. 20 minutes in a key ball game to see what he's really made of. Take the training wheels off. He's deserved it because in the minutes he gets, he produces. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Let me know your thoughts below. I would love to hear what you think if he deserves a little more run and all that good stuff. Check out my other videos if you got time. Leave a like and subscribe. Have yourself a great day and peace out.